So many of you have asked, how can I get my video that I've recorded, say, on another device, which could be a camera or from a screencast or from another iOS device, such as an iPhone or iPad, or even from the same device, and put it into the camera roll. And they might want it in the camera roll because they want to use it in iMovie or some other application that's actually on their device. And it needs to be in the camera roll to access it. So it's quite easy to do. You need to do it through iTunes, whether you're using it on the PC, like this version here, or on the Mac, which we're going to go to in just a moment. It's basically the same thing on both of them. You need to be able to put it into a folder where you're already syncing your pictures. So the one thing you do need to do is make sure your videos are compatible. So if it's done on another iOS device, iPhone or iPad, you're fine. But if it's from, say, another camera, then you might need to put it through something like Final Cut Pro, Premiere, Premiere Elements, iMovie, or use something like Handbrake. And I've got a video for Handbrake on how you do that. Normally there's a whole bunch of templates that tell you that it's Apple compatible, Apple device compatible. And I'm just going to show you here that on the Windows device, on you can just click on iPhone over here. So it's got to be plugged in. You can see I've already selected the photos here. Hopefully you're already syncing your photos, so you've got that sync photo switched on. If you don't, you just need to tick it. And it comes up by default with My Pictures. Now, on the Mac, which we're going to look at in just a second, the same thing applies. You just need to have your photos or videos in a particular folder, and you can have subfolders within that. And basically, well, most people use My Pictures, but you can choose a folder and you can then choose where it is. So I could go here and choose Camtasia Studio or whatever it is. We're just going to stick with my pictures for the moment. The key thing is, whether you're using the Windows or the Mac version, is to choose Include Videos. So all you've got to do is copy videos into there. And you can do this like if I have a video here. So here are my pictures. That's my folder. I could have just gone to Videos. Here's a video that I want. I can just right click, copy, I could just drag it in and paste it into here. Same again if I'm using the Mac. And as I said, we're going to look at that in just a second. For those of you that sync up using iPhoto, which is only on the Mac, we're going to take a look at that as soon as we've finished doing these folders here. So it's basically really straightforward. So what's happening now is you've ticked include videos and now when you hit apply, which will then sync it, and you might have the sync button down here, it will now synchronize that across onto your device, whether it be an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So it's really as simple as that. So let's just take a look at doing this now on the Mac. So on this one, same again, quickly to show you about the folders although you've probably worked it out by now by just seeing this bit, but also just see how you can get it into iPhoto if you're using iPhoto to sync it. So here I am on the Mac, and once again, here's my little iPhone icon, my little button, I click on that. And now I'm using the photos, and here you can see it's exactly the same. So if I click on photos, I've already ticked the sync here, I've already ticked include videos. If you don't want the videos, you can see it changed from three photos to include videos. And you can see the difference is, is it's got iPhoto here as the default. Now I usually do it by using either my pictures folder, or once again, choosing another folder like I would do if I was using it on the PC. So if you are one of those people using iPhoto, then we'll just take a look at how you get it into iPhoto. And then from there, it just syncs across. So just quickly looking here as well, something you can do on the Windows version as well, is you can also have chosen from selected albums. Um, this is going to do all photos and albums. And if I was on the PC, I could have done the same. I could have just chosen particular folders and things like that here. So uh, if I was using pictures, you could choose selected folders and choose which folders you wanted. Let's just choose iPhoto again. And I'm just going to do all the key thing is that include videos. So what happens? I need iPhoto open and I've got it open right here. And you can see I've got some events in here. You can see some videos are there. So what I need to do is get 
some video into here. Now what I can do, I'm just going to click over here into events. You can see there's a video I loaded earlier. What I can do is go into file, import to library, and then I can go to movies and just choose a movie here. I'm just going to choose this one here and click on imports. And you can see it's done it really quickly. So that now appears under one of my events here, that which happens to be this one over here. So what I can do is now when I go back into iTunes and sync, it will sync it up. But just quickly, I just want to show you, you could have actually done that by going into the Finder, going to Movies, and you could select more than one. You could hold down the Command key and click on another one. So you can see here that's an MP4, that's M4V. Both of these are compatible and I could just click and drag them across. They're already in here. I'm not going to do that. So, um, and they've moved, so I'm just going to do undo. So that's how you can get it into iPhoto. Then when I'm in iTunes and click on the apply button down here, it's going to sync them up and it's going to include the videos. They're then going to be on your iOS device. So really, it's as simple as that. Just make sure you've got include videos done ticked here and you're away.